Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. Hey, what's up guys? It's Elias over here with uh, Fisherman Magazine's weekly kayak column. Uh, this week I have to talk to you about a pretty big tournament that just passed on the East Coast here and that's the Jamaica Bay Kayak Classic. It is by far the largest kayak fishing event in the East Coast and has been for almost 15 years now. Uh, Captain Jerry Collins from Captain Kayak has been running this tournament for I believe eight years. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and uh, this was his last year doing this event. Um, it was a 300 plus anglers registered for this tournament. Uh, what I love about this tournament more than anything, um, it brings a big variety of anglers, you know, that have different skills from all over the country. We have anglers from Maryland, uh, Massachusetts, Maine, different kayaks, different techniques, and it opens my eyes to see how these guys catch fish versus to what I do in my location. A couple of notable things that were caught that were great signs. There's a decent amount of very sizable weak fish caught. What was very interesting about the way these weak fish were taken, and I was blown away by it, is that they were taken close to the surface over deeper water. I've heard of a few weak fish that were caught in like 25 feet of water, for example, but only five feet down in the water column. It's pretty crazy. Um, I always assumed weak fish were a bottom-oriented fish. So number one, I always learned something like that to me. It was crazy to learn about and to see how you know anglers were catching them. Uh, they were catching them on tube and worm combos and soft plastics from what I heard. Um, the other thing is, um, you know, the striper fishing was difficult to say the least. I avoided the back bay area. I tried to fish structure and rips. Uh, most of the guys that did catch stripers, I think almost all were either caught on live bunker or they were caught on tube and worms. And it's also just interesting to see how guys fish with fly rods, the electric division. It's just a very big global East Coast um, tournament, you know, and you know, everyone gets together from, to make this trek from four hours to six hours in camping facilities, etc. Um, if you haven't done it before, I'm sure somebody will be picking up this tournament for the, the future. Um, it's a great event. I'm hoping it's going to continue. Uh, like I said, it's a great way to learn. Even me, these are my home waters. I see how other guys catch fish, and I'm, I'm blown away every time. And um, congratulations to, I believe it was Mike Lowe, who won the slam division uh, with a 31-inch weak fish. Don't quote me on this. I think it was a 29-and-a-half-inch bluefish and a 30-inch striper. Uh, and the largest striped bass of the tournament ran 41-and-a-half inches to Chris DeBeer on Live Bonker. So great tournament, great fishing learn so much that's the most important thing is about attending this event the amount you end up learning so all right that's it for me this week's uh, kayak column i'll catch you guys very soon win the incredible steigercraft 21 db miami powered by a yamaha 200 in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber only fishing competition the fisherman's 2017 dream boat fishing challenge go to thefisherman.com and enter today